Okay, hey everybody. It's Chris here with my review of the Uncanny X-Force Omnibus. Which is not this one. But it was funny. So, went ahead and bought it since it was cheap. But I love this beast already. Um, let's say Audio. Don't know. Doesn't do justice to letting the book speak for itself, but since it's been requested, I'll try to do more audio from now on. Here we go. It's obviously by Remender, Opinia, Rivik, Noto, Tan, Brooks, Tachini. Nice little spine there. I do this so you can see the price of the book. Which, you know, you always find it somewhere cheap. Maybe ask your local funny book dealer for a deal on it or something. You never know. All you can do is say no. Start quite nice. Considering we got a very pink and purple cover here. And here's the review of the inside of the slip cover. A little info on all the people there. That's why I do that. So you can see that, you know, if you see these shrink wrapped in the store, or, you know, you don't want to rip it open. Or maybe you do want to rip it open. I don't really care. In my store. Um, love the cover. Love the team. Since I haven't read all of this, it's going to be quite a treat. Go ahead and bust it open so when I do get to read it, it won't fall apart. And check out the binding because people have been complaining about Marvel's bindings lately. It's a sewn binding, obviously. A little bit of a dent there. People have been complaining about the quality of the paper too. Um, I just don't see it. I don't see that being a reason to complain. It is kind of thin compared to other omnibus. Is whatever omnibuy, whatever. But uh, you know, like I say, like I always say, if you don't read it like a an idiot, then you should be fine. It's got a whole lot of comic in it. I think it reprints all 35 issues in the point one couple of different artists but they're all really awesome and come on you got Wolverine, Archangel, Psylocke on the team you know that's badass at least I think that's badass artwork is just amazing um, oh and Deadpool's in there too Everybody, everybody's got a thing for Deadpool lately and he's cool I like Deadpool don't get me wrong um, not my favorite but he definitely can hold his own in the book the the Deadpool review I did a couple weeks ago. Test to that. I did buy it. But I don't think the paper quality is that bad at all. Like it doesn't seem thin to me or I don't know. Like it's going to fall apart. You know. And we'll check out the, the spine after we flip through it here for a minute to let you see some of the artwork and see what's going on. Say this is a reason I hate doing audio because I don't really know what to say. You know, you can sit here for hours like, oh, it's really, really awesome. I love it so much. It's so awesome. But that would get monotonous as my terribly low voice. Oh. Okay. And needless to say, there's going to be spoilers pop up as you flip through a book. So I guess I should have said that earlier. Spoilers. Sorry. Um... If you hear anybody laughing in the background, it's my wife listening to the radio because, you know, I said I'm doing a book review, so she'll kind of amp up the laughing, but that's cool. She's cute. She doesn't mind me sitting here reviewing books, so I'll try to talk over her. Not that I have a lot to say. Um, well, that's kind of a little cool thing. bonus story or something maybe like I said I haven't read it yet I read the first maybe 10 issues in the, the Archangel saga and as always the bonuses in the back of these omnibus are the best to me uh, that poster might look good on the printed page or that picture right there but as a poster it gets so muddied and dark and black it's just I don't know I stared at it at a store for a while and it gets annoying that's just me. You know, we all have opinions. I'm sure mine's wrong most of the time. But that's fine. Oh, Nick Bradshaw. You gotta love that. 
I love Nick Bradshaw. That is an amazing poster. Got some remainder script here. Uh, pencils. That's always a nice thing. Um, I know people complain about it. it takes a long time to get in the book, but you know, I try to do it fast. Or you can, it's a YouTube video, people. You can always fast forward. It's no big deal. A little history of X-Force there. That's nice. Notice how they skipped over the other book that I bought on a whim with all the Layfield artwork. But I'm pretty sure there's still a new X-Force book coming out. I think they changed the team and the writer and stuff, but come on, that's amazing Opinia artworks. I hope I'm saying that right. If not, sorry. Uh, I love the raw pencils. That's why you need, you know, an inker and a colorist and look at that. That's amazing. Phil Noto is always a badass. I even like the, the gray and you know, the Batman and Robin gray and black costumes that they put on all the guys and girls, but that's just me. Oh yeah, and Nightcrawler, you know, he's back in, in books now. Oh, that's cool on the back. A little review of that there. Check that out. Got the oops. Sorry about that. Got the spine. And we'll see how that binding is held up. Oh, look, that was flipping around here. See what I'm saying? It looks fine to me. It looks like it's going to hold up pretty well. But there's me flipping through the Uncanny X Force Omnibus. There's its cover. Like I say, I always appreciate you folks checking out my videos. It's really, really considerate, and I really, really, really do appreciate it. Listen to all suggestions, compliments, and complaints. So let her have it. And once again, thanks a lot.